Hey, this is Lee Bible in Real Life. So as we're reading through Ezekiel, we start to see kind of the outline of Ezekiel and the four visions, the big four visions that we see in Ezekiel can really help us understand what Ezekiel is all about. So the first vision, we see God on his throne. So there's the seraphim, there's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. They see that, that God is, can go wherever he wants and so forth. So we see God's sovereignty in that first vision. But the second vision, there's a vision of a temple and God is in the temple, but we see that in the vision, the glory of God raises up from the temple and goes. This is showing how because Israel has sinned, because they had returned their back on God, the glory, God's protection, everything that comes with the glory of God had left. Then we see those visions that all the preachers preach on in, in um, Ezekiel chapter 26 and Ezekiel 27, where we talk about the dry bones, right? This really speaks to the restoration and how God said, hey, you know what? Though these bones are here, they shall yet live, right? So speak to the bones, prophesy to the bones. Ah, preach, lead, preach, right? Then there's this fourth vision where again, there's a vision of another temple. And in this temple, we see that the people are gathered there. We see that the glory of God has returned to the temple. Here's my point. When we look through the book of Ezekiel, we see that, hey, God's in control because of the things that were happening. We rejected God and he removed his protection. But then God promised that there's restoration, that these bones can live, and that he is going to fill the temple once again. So you're never too far gone. All right. Believe it. Trust it. God's word teaches it. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.